Hello friends, welcome to Java EE, EJP and JPA tutorial. So now we are starting a sub series here and in this sub series we are going to create a stateless uh, session bin and uh, we will explore how to create that using uh, Eclipse IDE. So a SQL server is not required for this example. When we go to JPA in that time we need a SQL server. During that time um, I will tell you how to set up the SQL server. Then here is a Wildfly 10.1. The Eclipse version required is a Neon. So as part of the prerequisite you will know how to set up this Eclipse and Wildfly 10.1. So this is the video you have to watch to know how to set up uh, Wildfly and Eclipse. So the very first video in playlist 06. So this playlist is for servlet. Since servlet uh, requires the application server, we set up Wildfly with uh, Eclipse. Wildfly 10.1 with uh, Eclipse Neon. So that's what uh, this video shows. Once that environment is ready, then um, you can start uh, developing the EJB. So when we are talking about uh, session beans, there are uh, two types. One is stateless uh, session bean. This is what we are going to see here in this video. The other one is a stateful session bin. Both the bin represents an action. So both beans will use for a single user session. So single user session in the sense, let's say this is the server and this one is the client so here user opens a browser they will make a request to browse a particular page the page will be returned here and in the same browser session he will perform some task he will make a he or she will make a request response will go back then he will perform one more task response will go back so then finally he will close the browser so we call this as a browser session say for example user opened a browser um, logged into yahoo email then composed a email and sent it response came back that states that email is sent user closed the browser that means here one browser session is over so user opened a browser session, logged into Yahoo, sent an email. After seeing email was sent, he or she closed the browser. So here, if you see both beans, stateless and stateful session bean represents an action. So here, if you see everything is a request here, asking to get the Yahoo page from worldwide web this itself is an action then logging in then sending email and after that finally uh, the browser session is closed so here action is uh, let's take this one composing an email and sending it i mean this one is login right login is one action composing email and uh, uh, clicking the send button that's one action so here bean represents an action here in this action we can define it as a login action so login will tell username and password so likewise we can consider other example also so here since login in the sense it should remember who logged in that means we should go for a stateful session bin but here we are concentrating on stateless that means the action should be remembered per request per request in the sense 
um, say for example the request can be um, um, get stack a specific product id and this will tell how many stack exists under product so here you will send a product id and the action will tell that this many product exist for the given input so the action is ended in one single request so that kind of action can be represented using stateless as well as a stateful session bean so in stateless session bean this is the best example the processing is completed per request basis so here in this request if you see there is no state that is maintained so we send a product id that goes as a parameter the function returns with a parameter that means uh, here i say a product id of uh, p101 and it states p101 there are a hundred stock in hand so that's uh, stateless stateful if you see uh, if we have a shopping cart in each request we will keep adding the product so first time there will be only one product second time there will be two third time there will be three and when user sees it here response goes back when it comes back user will see one product is there second time they will see two product third time three product so we call that as a stateful session bin but it will be remembered in a single browser session so once browser session is closed this information will be lost when we implement shopping cart using the stateful session bin without db persistence all right so if we want to look at other example in inventory management system we can state purchase and sales as an action in banking application we can state deposit and withdraw as an action so this action can be represented using a, a stateless session bin or even a stateful session bin so if you imagine here if you take this example the stateless session bin will be the bank transaction then the bank transaction will support uh functionality of a deposit and withdraw all right uh, in this sub series we will create an example for stateless uh, session bin since uh, here we are starting uh, our very first example the stateless session bin will perform a simple task of uh, greeting a person so there will be a method that takes a string parameter then it will just print uh, hello or something appended with this string so that's what we are going to see and in the coming videos we will go uh, further deep inside the um, uh, bean categories and we will also use jpa to persist the information so stateless stateless session bean will not store bean state between request stateless session bean stateful session bean can store the state between the request so if there are multiple request request 1 request 2 and request 3 from client to uh, middleware and and if it is a stateless session bean once request is gone here stateless session bean will process the request based on the incoming uh, parameters it will respond back and it will forget about the previous request when second request goes since it doesn't maintain any state it doesn't know about the previous request so that's stateless session bin when we go to stateful session bin that time we will learn more about uh, how stateful session bin remembers the uh, uh, state of the previous request within the browser session all right so in stateless session bin if you see here we have a client 
client will make a request to server server will have uh, multiple bin so the bin are not specific to a particular request since it doesn't maintain any state what be the behavior then uh, a bin which is created for request one or client one can also be used for client two request one or request two request three whatever you can call so for example the client one is here in um, uh, india and client two is in uh, uk and i have been created for the request from that originated from india can serve the request that originates later from uk since it no needs to maintain state uh, the same bean can be used for uh, fulfilling the request that is raising from different origination right so that's why the wildfly server uh, so it depends on the vendor so most vendors to comply with the ejb specification will have a uh, object pool so in that object pool it will maintain the ejb uh, components and if any ejb instance is free that will take the request and respond back so this is what we are talking about the complexities are hidden behind the uh, enterprise java bean and the vendor implementation so if we need to hand code it we can do it even without ejb and just by using jsp and uh, servlet but uh, it's up to the programmer's responsibility to maintain the object pool or concurrent uh, uh request processing all the stuff all right so there is no demo here uh, um, so in this video we just learned when we talk about uh, stateless uh, when we talk about a session bin there are two variety one is a stateless session bin and another one is a stateful uh, session bin Thank you for watching. Bye.